All right, so a lot of questions I was getting is, can HSV1 turn into HSV2, and can HSV2 turn into HSV1, and what makes it HSV1, and what makes it HSV2, and all these things. So to back up and give you kind of a full history, um, about 40, 45 years ago, we didn't know the difference between type 1 and type 2. It was just herpes. You had oral herpes or you had genital herpes. You had herpes up here, you had herpes down there. Um, now that our technology is more improved, we're able to tell the difference between um, you know, the viral DNA and type 1 and type 2. So with that being said, type 1 is most commonly associated with oral herpes. It's most commonly associated up here. And HSV2 is most commonly associated down there, right? But that doesn't mean that's where it always is. And it can go in either location. So if you have herpes on your mouth, you have oral herpes. If you have herpes down there, you have genital herpes.